Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. A few weeks ago, I challenged you to provide your own Vault DSP code running on this Pico 80K to create your own synthesizer, be it a drum computer or a polyphonic virtual analog synth. Unfortunately, only three of my roughly 16,000 subscribers took this challenge and handed in some code. As promised, today I'll look at the results and I'll also hand out the prizes. Here we go. So Pico 80K is a mini computer based on the RP2040 and a while ago I made a video on that uh, showing you how it works, that it has its own audio processor and it's possible to program it in the Vault DSP language. And in that video I gave you homework to create either a polyphonic synthesizer or a small drum computer. And I also told you that you can get the building blocks right from Vault DSP's GitHub page where he has examples for software wave oscillators, noise, filters, envelopes and so on. So you only needed to copy and paste that and fill it into the template which he has on his documentation webpage. There's a small page of code there where you can run your own Vault DSP code inside your browser. That again shows the flexibility of this language. Once you programmed your DSP code, it can run virtually anywhere from the Pico ADK over the browser to all kinds of other supported platforms. So I told you uh, the end of this contest would be the end of March 2023. So now <laughs> I've got uh, three entries. Let's take a look at them. And the first one was by Jonathan Zappa. You programmed a small drum computer and you told me in this accompanying mail uh, that he had trouble getting the noise generator to work. So we only got basically two notes here uh, with an envelope and a hi-hat sound which uses the delay effect. Uh, you can see here you use the basic template, the note on off controller. So the notes getting triggered on note on on the keyboard and they are terminated once you release the key. Here's the the control function which sets things up. This is a basic drum computer with sine waves representing the drums. Let's see what's the problem here with the noise function. I think we can take a look at the basic examples on the Vault DSP page. If we take this code here here and paste it into his code there, then um, remove this if then statement, we should be able to hear the snare drum created by this noise function over here. Yeah, that's the case. I can play on the keyboard, the bass drum, the snare drum and the hi-hat. Nice work, Jonathan. I think you deserve to get one of the prizes and it will be on your way. Okay. The second entry was by Jaxi over on Woody Pianoshek's Discord server. By the way, uh, that's a great place to hang out and discuss with DIY synths or <laughs> synthesizers in general. So you're really welcome to join this Discord server. Link is in this video's description. It's a great community full of friendly and creative people. Let's see what we got here. This is a polyphonic synth based on the examples on uh, the Valtis P page. We have filters, we have filter resonance, we we have uh, the amp and the filter envelope. Nice work. Let's hear how it sounds. Thank you very much for participating, Jaxi. One of the Pico 80Ks is on the way to you. And finally, Adrian Chung sent me a mail containing a drum computer and the polyphonic synth. This is the most impressive work here by far. You can see this code for the drum computer is really short and to the point. Great work there and um, the resulting sounds are great too. Listen to this hi-hat and clap sounds here, created only by a short line of codes uh, using some clever ideas here. And also the polysynth we provided has wave shaping, it has envelopes, it has the LFO on filter, it's got a nice sonic range. Great work there. You really deserved your Pico 80k set, man. <laughs> Thanks for participating.
So yeah, thanks everyone for sending in your entries and thanks to Sylvester for providing some of the prizes. As you can see, you can achieve a lot of things with only a few lines of code. I think, um, yeah, sitting down and learning this language should have taken maybe a few hours, so you can get results quite quickly. And to finish the video, I'll try to create a short piece of music with the synthesizers you sent in. I'll use my Roland Boutique synth here as a sequencer and I use my nano control to tweak the synth parameters in real time so I can open up the filter, change the LFO, change the wave shape and so on. Here we go. Oh, by the way, if you like content like this, and if you want to see more on DIY synths like the Pico ADK in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Seeing the subscriber numbers grow makes me happy and keeps me motivated to push out a new video every week or so. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially, you can become a channel member using the button under this video, or become my patron over on patreon.com. Thank you very much. By the way, if you're a developer and you want me to talk about your project on this show, my email address should be on screen right now. So yeah, looking forward to hear from you. And that's it for today. Thanks to everyone who sent in code. And if you want to see more of this, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. And see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.